Our world is so much about performance and achievement, and I just want to speak a message of hope and truth over you today to release you from that pressure and remind you that you are enough as you are today. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to my channel, Loved Happy. My name is Kaylin. If you're new, I'm so glad that you're here today. Here on my channel is my biggest heart to share with you uplifting, truth-filled messages that are gonna encourage you and bring something positive to your day. So that's why I'm talking with you today. Today, I wanna share with you a friendly reminder that nothing you do today is gonna affect your value. There are so many things that we do throughout our day that we do out of a performance mindset and out of the mindset that we need to earn God's love or that we want to earn approval or that we want to be good enough. So many times it's totally subconscious and sneaky and we just carry that weight. Whether it is how we parent, whether it's how we perform at our job, the money that we make, how well we're doing in school, most of us struggle having our identity wrapped up in these things. And I just wanted to remind you today that your identity is in Christ and that we are made enough by His grace and by the blood of Jesus we are totally accepted and there's nothing that we can do to earn the love of God. God thought of you before he made this entire world. You were already an idea in his mind, in his heart. You were already a dream of his. And he crafted you to live inside of you. His ultimate desire has been to live inside of you. Before he even made the world, he already wanted to redeem you through Jesus Christ, which is the most incredible thing. Our identity is so apart from what the world tells us it is, and so apart from what the lies of the enemy tells us it is. We are not justified by works, meaning there's nothing we can do no standard of perfection we can achieve to be loved by God, but we are justified by our faith in Jesus Christ. All we have to do is believe. It's as simple as that. I would love to have a discussion together down in the comments. What are some of the things that you struggle wrapping your identity up in? Is it how you look? Is it how your home looks? Is it how your kids perform in school or how well behaved they are? Is it how much stuff you're able to get done during the day? Is it how many likes or how many followers you have on social media? We need to be diligent to remember that these things do not bring us happiness. All of these things are things we're going to continue to chase till the day we die if we do not realize that they're not going to bring us satisfaction. And the sad thing is so many people do. They keep chasing things in hopes that they will make them feel good enough or make them feel happy or define themselves. Whether they're grand achievements that happen over a period of time or quote unquote achievements that happen throughout our day, none of them are going to satisfy. What satisfies us is Christ and recognizing our fullness in Christ. Even if we don't feel it, I know at times I struggle not feeling it. You know what I mean? I know that he is my satisfaction, that he is my portion and my cup, but I don't feel it. And that's where faith comes into play. That's where believing that he is enough, believing that we have him in his greatest amount and that he is not withholding from us, even if we don't feel it. Believing that he loves us greatly, even if we don't feel it. Believing that he's satisfied with us and we don't have to be perfect at work. That we don't have to achieve all these standards that we've set for ourselves and that the world has set for ourselves. We do not have to agree with those. We can just receive the love of God. We can receive the fullness of Christ and that can be enough. Just knowing who we are in God, that is enough. A clean house, a big paycheck, a certain type of body, none of these things are going to satisfy us. None of these are going to earn us the love of God. These things may bring us accolades from the world, but that is absolutely not going to satisfy you or me. What you and I both need, what our hearts both were made for, was to know the love of God, was to know God personally as a person, as a father who loves us, and to grow in that relationship with him. So today I just want to remind you that you are enough, that nothing you do or don't do, the laundry you get done or don't get done, your boring nine to five job that you feel like is so unsatisfying, you know what, God is satisfied with you there. He's not looking for you to get a promotion. He loves you there and he is proud of you there. He is proud of you for being faithful in a boring job. If your house is a mess, God is happy that you sat with your kid and just made a mess with them and played with them. And if your house is clean and you didn't play with your kids, you know what? There's grace for that too. God has enough grace to meet you where you're at. He showed us that he is the one who meets us where we're at. When he sent Jesus to die for us on the cross so that we can be united with him, that was the act of him coming to us. So just remember that when you feel like you're chasing after something to bring you closer to God, you cannot possibly do more to get closer to God. He already was crucified and gave us himself, his very own spirit to live within us. Like he cannot be closer to you or me. He is with us right now. That's what our hearts are longing for is that closeness and that intimacy with God. And we're just looking for in other things. So I just pray right now that you feel so connected to God and that you would be encouraged with faith to believe that God is with you and that God loves you and that he wants to live inside of you 
and live life through you and experience life through you. That is the desire of God for you in your life. I love you and I hope this video spoke to you in some way. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want more encouraging videos like this so I can make sure to make more of them. I love you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.